All right, we're doing a little comparison on the blow dryers because I get a lot of questions on how the new field jet dry is. Um, so I have a Gamma Plus Excel here, the field jet dry, and then the uh, Dyson. So right off the bat, you're going to notice heaviest. The cord is super thick and very heavy. Uh, as far as the cords go, Dyson is about a foot longer than the um, Field Jet Dry, which is about a foot longer than the Gamma Plus Excel. Um, you'll notice this is by far the lightest. Uh, the cord is literally just a standard cord with a two prong, uh, which I will show you in just a little bit. Um, the Gamma is kind of in between, but it has the same uh, thick cord, but not quite as thick as the Dyson. Um, it's heavier than the jet uh, field jet dry uh, but definitely lighter than the dyson the, the dyson is by far the heaviest uh in the hand um it's honestly it feels almost bulky in comparison to the field jet dry so looking at the three cords this is your gamma this is your dyson and then this is your feel so when cords are you know plugged in in your outlets uh, this is so much easier to work with. Um, a lot more flexibility, a lot less cluttered, uh, just a standard plug-in. These, you know, like I said, quite bulky. And the Dyson has this like adapter on the end, which makes it like extremely heavy. So I'm gonna turn them all on with uh, the maximum settings. So we'll turn the Dyson on. That was the Dyson. Here is the uh, Gamma. and the field jet dry. So the Dyson I feel is the loudest. Uh, the Excel is a little bit quieter. I'll do a little um, decibel test uh, when I get my decibel reader comes in. The one thing about this one, uh, I feel the Gamma Plus, it has this whistle to it. This like high pitched that is honestly annoying. <laughs> I can't stand it. Uh, I literally never use the Excel uh, because the the high pitched whine that it has from the motor just annoys, annoys me so much. It hurts my ears. Uh, this one, it does have that slight whistle at the lowest setting I found. But if you're like above anything... Um, from the second, third setting, fourth setting, uh, there's no real high-pitched whistle. It's it's quite clean and consistent, and probably the quietest of the three. Uh, as far as the power and the heat, um, the Dyson has three settings, the Excel has three settings, the Field Jet Dry actually has four settings. Um, it has five technically on the temperature settings. Uh, this was by far the most powerful. Um, the airflow on this one is incredible. The heat is, I would say, pretty on par with the Dyson. I felt that the Gamma Plus actually lacked in heat and um, power out of all three of them. Um, the heat between these two is pretty comparable, but this one was not nearly as powerful as the Field Jet Dry. This was by far the most powerful. A uh, couple questions I've had about the Field Jet Dry. So you actually have this easy to use clean filter, right? If you, while it's off, hold this for three seconds, That actually cleaned your filter out by reversing the airflow and this kind of like shooting everything out of the filter. A uh, couple other things is while it's actually on, if you hold this for three seconds, it'll digitally lock the settings so you don't bump them while you're using them. Uh, the cold shot also works a little bit differently. You just tap it once and then it turns cold. Tap it again to go back to heat. Uh, the settings though are memorized when you turn it off. So whatever you left it at will turn it on to be the same thing. Um, so that's a bit about the field jet dry. The components are all magnetic like the Dyson. Uh, it comes with three components as you saw in my previous video. Uh, definitely like the magnetic on and off feel. Um, it just, it works really well. I did not like the Gamma Plus Excel, honestly. It seems to clip on here and it can be just super annoying to get off, a little bit clumsy. Uh, this also does have the lock features with the three settings. Um, and those also... 
those also stay while in use and you can lock them if you just push it all the way up. If you have any questions about the field jet drive, please let me know. You can DM me or text me. So if you want to see more products that we are going to be reviewing in the future, just follow and like. I appreciate it.